This is an update on the swine flu outbreak in Mexico City, this H1S1 mutant version of swine flu, which seems to have combined with other viruses uh, in animals or humans and made a jump to humans uh, just in the last few weeks. On, as of the 27th of April, there were already 1,600 cases reported in Mexico, of which 100 have died, and, and another 20 cases in, in the United States of America. But what's the truth? The truth is that we see new versions of flu every single year. We see new mutant viruses emerging usually in Southeast Asia around every 12 months as well. And there's nothing new about viruses which jump from one species to another and gain new characteristics in the process. Indeed, we saw this happen on a significant scale in April 2003 with the creation of SARS, which at that time was uh, had probably already been around for some time, but we didn't recognize it because the symptoms of these mutant viruses can be similar to other viruses that people are used to, as is the case here. Swine flu is looking like a more serious version of normal flu. Now you could say 100 deaths out of 1,600 cases is extremely worrying, especially in a short space of time. But let's look at the facts. Firstly, this particular mutant version of flu has probably been around for quite some time, which is why we already have 1,000 cases before uh, the Mexican authorities realized what was happening. Secondly, most of those cases have probably gone um, un unrecognized, or rather regarded as normal flu, and will probably never be diagnosed. Thirdly, uh, we don't know what will happen to the virulence, the dangerousness of this particular virus over the next few weeks. We are already in a situation where we have the potential for a global spread of this particular H1S1 mutant swine flu virus, but it will all depend on how effective we are in mobilizing resources, in treating people who are infected, and most importantly, in rapid diagnosis and isolation. My mind goes back to 2003, April, exactly six years ago when we saw, of course, SARS start to spread around the world. Now, SARS caused chaos with billions of dollars wiped off stock exchanges in Southeast Asia and massive disruption of business within the region and indeed more widely. SARS jumped very rapidly from Southeast Asia, in fact, uh, Southwest China, Hong Kong. Uh, we then had an outbreak in Toronto and with other cases scattered in a number of other countries. 862 people <coughs> 862 people died of SARS out of only 8,650 cases or so, and yet there was this big disruption. So if it's true that we have already got to 1,000 cases, 1,600 cases it seems, or perhaps even more, in two countries within the first 48 hours of this illness being diagnosed, then the first thing we need to say is, that this particular virus, H1S1, this swine flu mutant virus, has already spread more widely and has been less well detected than, uh, than SARS was uh, just six years ago. And what that means is two things. Firstly, it's likely that it's less uh, 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 dangerous in terms of causing massive fatalities because um, it's been able to spread so widely with, with, without being detected. And secondly, uh, that if it is in the system, it's likely to spread quite widely, perhaps more widely than SARS. But you see, it all depends on the infectivity of this particular thing. With SARS, we saw that 1% of those infected were what we regarded as super spreaders. They were extremely infectious people, uh, so much so that uh, we had uh, anecdotal cases in Hong Kong where someone had touched a lift button 24 hours after someone with SARS had been in that lift and they had then gone down with the illness. Now, there's no evidence that this particular virus is that infectious. Uh, this, uh, um, uh, this N1S1, this swine flu virus, this new virus that's in Mexico, appears to be uh, less infectious in one respect, uh, that we haven't seen any evidence of super spreaders so far. And the other thing is, we've seen that the, the virus itself seems to be responding to treatment, whereas with SARS, treatment was really very difficult. There didn't seem to be any... Uh, significant response to Tamiflu in most people, whereas we're seeing good response with Tamiflu on this particular occasion. And all 20 of those cases that were reported amongst children in 
the United States of America by the 27th of April seem to be doing reasonably well. Now, as I say, the situation could change very rapidly. And you could argue that the mutant viruses that occur in different parts of the world that kill almost 100% of those in they infect turn out actually to be less dangerous because they usually die out. That's The reason for that is that a virus can only spread if the people that contain the virus stay alive for long enough for the virus to spread. And of course, a virus which kills people very quickly within 24 or 48 hours, a virus with, so let's say, 80 to 100% mortality rate, uh, it's very unlikely to spread, actually, at least not very widely. And SARS turned out to be uh, uh, relatively dangerous in the sense that it killed 10% uh, of all those who became infected. So that was a very high mortality rate compared to normal flu. Um, and that was why it was extraordinarily worrying, especially when we knew that around 1% of the population who were infected were extremely infectious. And as I say, that we had very no little treatment against it. This particular swine flu virus, as I say, looks much more treatable and yet could spread very widely if we see spread maybe in another five or six or seven or eight countries over the next week or two. We'll just have to see what happens. Now, for more of this, you will see a reference on the top right of this video, which is an article on the SARS epidemic that I wrote in 2003, right in the middle of the SARS epidemic, and you can see some of the similarities between all mutant viruses, actually, in the response of the World Health Organization and hospitals. Uh, and we'll just watch this space and I'll update this, this bulletin as frequently.